we were the most uh, uh, um, notorious like film of the of the festival. All right, yeah, it's like a, once we had a crazy first screening it was, that was like one of the best or worst screenings you could possibly have. Like, it's like the first time I've ever shown a, uh, a, you know one of my movies to you know a complete random audience. So we show up at Sundance and uh, we shot the film in scope all right um, and we get there and then uh, Alberto Garcia comes up and says you know what we thought we had a scope lens for the projector and we don't all right now I now know enough and I wouldn't like well then we're not screening the movie all right that would be the first things out of my mouth but then I didn't know enough to say that or even didn't know I could say that all right so we watched the movie we watched my scope movie on a non with a non-scope lens in the projector and that's where like you know so the, the first paying audience is seeing it that way this side is out of focus this side is spilling off the the screen and it's just a nightmare all right but the place is like jam-packed during the last section in 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 the warehouse all right it's going on, it's going on, that, you know, the recriminations, they shoot Kirk Balls and everything. And all of a sudden, the lights start coming up. <laughs> what the hell is going on with this? Like somebody like, oh shit, all right. And they, they're bringing the lights down during this big sequence. Then the guns get pulled, all right? So everybody's got their guns on everybody else. And right at that moment, a power failure happens. <laughs> all right, and just poof. You know, the, the, the projector, the screen goes black, the theater goes black. My editor, Sally Minky, is like, was just like practically in tears, all right? And at some level, I was like, ah, don't worry about it, Sally. It was just like, it was just going so bad that I just had to kind of get into the masochistic thrill of the whole thing. It was funny because it was one of those weird things <laughs> where that was either like the worst time in the world to have that happen in the movie or the best, all right? Because the audience just went, ah! They get the power back up, they turn the generators on and everything, and, and then they start the film again. We have our next screening of the movie, all right? And we had four screenings all together, okay? The next screening during that week happens, and you know, no incidents. Then they have this like special Salt Lake City screening of the movie. And so I go to, because they have like a you know, annex festival going on in Salt Lake City. So I go, hey, maybe that's the one to invite my mom to, not all this bullshit going on over here so my mom and some friends come over there they have a scope lens but it's a shitty scope lens I mean just a really crappy scope lens all right so if it's in close-up you're fine okay anything that's like a wide shot which you know there's a couple of those in, in Reservoir Dogs all right uh, soft at some point in the film about midpoint in the film this one thing, if you've grown up your whole life going to movies that you've seen happen every once in a while, but you know it as soon as you see it, all right? Watching the movie, movie's going through the projector, watching it flicker, and then all of a sudden, a frame gets stuck. And you get that beat. One, two, burn! And I can't believe it. I go, you know what? I would have, I would bet that 85% of all the directors who've ever lived have never had to watch their movie burn on screen. Third time my movie shows, I get that cigarette burn effect. I go, fuck me. It's the big screening at Sundance at the Egyptian, all right, which is like their big theater. But it's like not even really a theater. It's like a moose lodge that they converted into a theater. Um, that's the big industry screening. Like Faye Dunaway is in the audience, all right? In the question and answer session, Faye Dunaway asked me a question, all right? Uh, uh, everybody from Hollywood had invaded by that time, all right? And so they're all there. And it's like, well, I had a horrible screening, okay screening, horrible screening. So I guess this is like the, it's falling. But I really turn it into a, a a whole thing, just like I just did right now, but a little funnier and a little tighter. I uh, I described all the experiences that I'd had at Sundance in my pre uh, introduction to the movie. All right, with the sheer with the sheer intention of scaring the shit out of the projectionist, 
don't let a fucking thing happen to this screening, all right? And then it went over fantastic, all right? And uh, so all those other screens were forgotten.